So you want to know about the fill tool here? Well, go ahead and go to the gas station and ask the guy to fill up pump number two. That's how you fill things up. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again looking at the fill tool because it's actually a little different now. They changed it since the last fill tool video that I made a while ago now. Um, but we're going to get started uh, over here on the right, left hand side. Sorry, there's the fill bucket tool over here. And on the right hand side, you should see this pop up. Now, if, you, if your setup doesn't look like this, you can always hit this button up here and change these workspaces. I think mine's on default something. I don't know. But it, whatever one it is, you, you'll be able to see that there is a fast mode, uh, threshold, grow selection, all that good stuff. But the thing you really want to pay attention to is this down here. Fill entire selection and limit to current layer. Now, if I go ahead and I were to add a new layer above everything, we're going to add that and just drag it up there. Um, you can see that what we're gonna what we're gonna have is we ha if I go ahead and uh, change this to a color, let's just do bright red so it's just easy to keep track of, uh, something like that, I guess. All right, now if I fill this, you can see it's gonna fill wherever I have my cursor at, which is like yeah, that's how the fill tool works, I suppose, if that's what you want. Um, but the problem is, is that maybe I don't want that because I want to fill the whole thing. So I, I can't just, I can't just do that. And it's really annoying. So what you do to fix that is you go ahead and go to fill entire selection and then you go ahead and you can, you can fill the entire canvas. Now, let's say you want to fill, uh, you want to fill like the, the whole eyeball, right? You want to fill the whole eyeball, but it keeps doing that. It keeps doing this. Um, because I have this shading, where is it at? The shading on a different layer. So this shading is on a different layer than the color is, right? So let's say that I wanted to fill this, my eyeball red. I wanted to make my entire eyeball red, but it's not filling in the entire, it's not filling in the entire eyeball because the shading is there. Even though I'm on the color layer with the, with the white, it's, it's taking into account everything else that's on top of it. That's not good. That's not what I want. So the way you can fix that is either to hide the layer and then just do like that. And then now you can see if I put that back, it's, it works. But um, the, the, the better way to do this is to go ahead and actually hit limit to current layer. And now if I were to go ahead with the shading on, on the color layer, on the color with the white of my eye and fill that in, you can see now it fills in the entire white and does not take into account the shading or the highlight, which is very cool. So that is pretty much the basis of the fill tool now. It is a little different than it was before, but uh, that is very cool. I do hope you ladies and gentlemen learned something new. I know a lot of people were having issues with this in the past, so I hope this helps you out even just a little bit. I will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.